Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back and see this kid every day. Uh, we're doing something different. James, he woke up while Dad was doing dishes, so he came straight to the high chair. We have some leftover oh, eggs from Easter. Uh, uh, you want some scrambled eggs? Super egg. Yeah? Uh huh, it's a little different. Usually we sit on the couch. Now you're gonna sit in your high chair. We got some scrambled eggs for James, then we have scrambled eggs taco version for Sarah. So hopefully James will eat this while I finish the dishes because I don't have too much left. And Sarah's finishing the vlog before our fun Saturday starts. A big kid with two big forks. Wow. I came to sit down, I took a break from the dishes to help feed him with a fork and then he decided to take both. Still in that bucket list kick. Right now, yeah. in our tent, hi! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? This cute. Cause you had a good night's sleep? <gasps> we got Goofy? <gasps> I play yeah, I'll play with them. You are my whole world. The struggle when you want to watch the movie. We also want to be in your tent. He actually might be able to see. All right, Jamesy, show us your, let's do a fit check, I think that's what the young kids call it. Hey, he's busy stomping on stuff. You ready to go to an art show? Show slash market. Hey. Uh-oh. He saw his toothbrush. I get you here. Gotta be careful. Follow him. The mic on. Mic on. We got the other lens. The other lens is in the bag. Oh, you want some, I like some... Mascara. Um, Gosh, she might actually be able to open that. <laughs> what is this? Can you tell me what this is? He's a swoopy whoopy. Taking a peek up there? Can you get a pastry? How many times have we walked past this place and this is our first time inside here? About 400, and every time we say we gotta go in there. Hey. We're so close to missing up the train, and we're not taking like an average train. We are going to, it's called One of a Kind. It's a fancy elevator projection. Where to, Jamesy? Alrighty, so this show, as the, the name of it implies, is that the items you'll see are one of a kind and like handcrafted and just beautiful. I don't know, everything. I feel like there's jewelry, there's fiber arts, there's photography, there's clothes, there's purses, everything. there's everything. I see some cool pillows. Um, we'll be able to show everything. Yeah, it's we're not. Art. Yeah, so it's it's art. We're not gonna like show a ton of stuff up close. Maybe if we get anything, obviously then we'll show it. And neither of us have been to this before. Like, no, there's food. 
There's food art. It's Festival of the Arts. <laughs> Chicago with it. Never leave me alone to just walk around these things. I found two different art pieces I want. I've, we're gonna go look at Mark Herschel, who uh, is the guy who made us our dream city in our living room. There's two our pieces. Our big piece that we got at the art show in Lakeview. He's, he's got. That's actually how I knew this was happening because I'm like on his email list. Yeah. Well, he's got one piece that is newer that I want to show Sarah, and there's one piece that I actually want that probably not, not today because I think we're gonna get it like custom sized, so it, it's not as obnoxiously large as our dream city. <laughs> We're nearing the end of our time, plus James has a nap, plus he's getting toast, but he's never done this before. Oh! I just... <laughs> he just got his heel. Look at that Thank oh, you for helping! Oh, it's going to get out of here. Maybe get something to eat because it's not raining out and Sarah's feeling yeah. a little Let's do a little woozy. And I don't want to like call it quits until I try to eat something. You know? Why does James fall first? I was holding him and he reached out and grabbed Sarah's shoulders and wanted to do this. Does he look comfortable? Uh, kind of. Or is he confused? Confused. What did you get? Does this look familiar, anybody? Yeah. Burton's 100% maple barrel aged maple syrup. We tried this before. At Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Yeah, in the like, in the festival, festival area. area. They had a booth. Out on the back? And we were like, were you guys at, at Disney World? And they were like, we were at Epcot's Food International Food and Wine Festival. They sounded so official. Yeah. And I was like, but we didn't buy you then. Everybody left. So we bought a bottle today, since we didn't down there, because we don't have to hop in a car 20 hours. We hop on a train 20 minutes. Here is their little advertisement. It's actually made in Indiana. Did you have a good time? Yeah. He says, uh, so so. <laughs> 70 30, good time. This is a little boring. <laughs> well, I don't know where Marshall's landing is, but we're apparently going in that direction. This kid's gonna be toast for nap time. It's past nap time. This is a cool little atrium lobby. Should we go find food? All right, James fell asleep, finally. Right as we were like, let's go in and sit at a restaurant, and he falls asleep, so. <laughs> but we're also like, it's so close to down time, like, he's in good spirits, but like, would that Put last? Over, yeah. So now, our challenge is finding something for Sarity, because we need to get food in this girl's belly. Yeah. Um, with a sleeping baby. Sleeping baby, like, outdoor seating but it's supposed to rain again in a few hours so i don't know how many restaurants are going to have like their outdoor setup going i see where we had our wedding right here Ooh. so we had that back patio even too and here is the banquet section and we're going between sweet green health <laughs> which we knew we could get a plant-based option and burger by Gordon Ramsay, which is Ooh, new, and we haven't seen one to try. And it reminds us of Disney Springs, and Hi. they do have a vegan burger because Gordon Ramsay has Gordon Ramsay does not have a place. I'm thinking yeah. of thinking the pizza of, joint. Um, Wolfgang. Wolfgang. But, well, Gordon Ramsay's awesome one. And yeah. Two burgers are delicious. They have a vegan burger, but it does not look as good as their authentic burgers. So, so we think we're, we're going to check this out and what see really what the weight is. We walked past the window and saw a booth with two burgers and the thing of fries. And I was like, we've now waited too long to eat. And I'm going to eat. eat my child if we don't eat soon. All right, it's a bit loud in here. James is asleep. He's like knocked out. Here's the menu. So far, we ordered the kettle chip nachos. Or I'm going with the... I just saw a picture of the nachos we got. 
I'm getting with the forest burger. So I was thinking about the Euro burger or the blue cheese burger. I don't even like blue cheese, but I'm like needing it. I also think I might have to order the beer battered onion rings after I saw them. They're like on a tower. I, I thought so. We were like, literally about to buy one of everything. We're like so easily. We like what we convinced. like. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to eat up there and eat eat up there. Wow. Look at that. These are vegan, right? Sadly not. Our burgers have arrived. Here's my zero burgers. Got roasted on it, roasted tomato. Here is my forest burger. It's got arugula. Did I get you anything? Fried egg. You good? Thank you. Look at that. We also have our tower of onion rings. And French fries. We're gonna chow down. How are probably like how. This is all for us. How are the nachos? Awesome. Oh, that yeah, was delicious. We even took some home. James was slept the whole time. Now oh, we're gonna walk up some of this throughout the time. All right, so done eating. One of our high school friends, one of Sarah's like childhood friends, was actually walking past. So Sarah banged on the window, ran out to go talk to her. So they're catching up. And right as we came outside, I think the change in temperature woke James up. So I'm trying to walk around this block to get him to fall back asleep while they catch up. Um, so fingers crossed, but if not, he did get an hour and a half of sleep then. Well, since we were in the neighborhood, I took James while Sarah was catching up with our friend Katie. Different Katie, not a Katie you've met before. Um, to come into this French chocolate place that we came in a couple months ago. I'm getting a, a latte. Well, they chit chat and he's awake, but he's like chill. But I don't think he's falling back asleep. So we're on bustling Michigan Avenue. It's really bustling. It's so beautiful. They have it all done up for spring. We have not been down here in a while. We also realized this might be our last trip down here until the baby's born and like things will be a little bit more complicated. My mom would love all these flowers. My mom would love all these flowers. I also, we were literally sitting at our table and one of my childhood best friends walked by and I knocked on the window. <laughs> so we went out and we chatted for a while, um, which was great. And we're gonna basically stay out until we know it's, it's like, yeah, it's gonna start like thunderstorming. And him's awake. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fountain? We just hear him start to laugh. <laughs> Casually outside the water tower. Did you know this survived? Did you, <laughs> Did you know there's an anthropology right there? Do you want to get more to the There is an anthropology right there. There used to be a Giardelli right here. And a Hershey. <sighs> Four, three. <gasps> <gasps> in the 900 North Michigan building. What? I'm vlogging. Oh, you're a vlogger? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> and we're going in the table. table. We haven't been here in years. Literally years. I can't wait. A little rainy coming down here in downtown Chicago. I actually love rainy downtown Chicago. We knew it was going to start raining at 5, but we were just distracted by the sea. Good one, good bottle. Also, uh, 900 North, always a great spot for snacks, for still the table, and for bathrooms. Look at this beautiful city. Belmont is next. All right, we might get lucky here, and we've made it back to the Belmont stop in our neighborhood, and it's not currently raining. So I don't know if like the rain moved from downtown from where we are now. Or if we like got ahead of it on the train and maybe it's just like impending any minute now. But that's a tornado watch. Ooh, that's exciting. Um so yeah, hopefully we'll make it home before the rain kicks in. And then I think we're gonna have like a real relaxed rest of the Saturday. Yeah. How about that? Really full. Yeah. Did you say it was good? It was delicious. Best best onion rings I've had in my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're home! And James barely got anything on his shirt. Looking slick, dude. Looking slick. Look at this girl. She's 
She's the sweetest pumpkin pie in the whole world. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> How are the contractions feeling? They're... I don't know. They're, all, they're fine. But they're here. But they're happening. Don't you love when it's just a Hamilton kind of night? We're all in comfies now. Oh! Ah! <laughs> We're playing in the tent. The sun's looking gorgeous outside. I got me a glass of a bottle of red. Sarah's feeling... I did not. Well, I was chatting with my friend Peter. We went to his LA Burdick handmade chocolates and he got a coffee and me this chocolate bar. Look how fancy. This is like a Florida rain. Kind of nice, isn't it? A little lightning, a little downpour. Smells like rain, looks like rain. Oh, the lightning. The chocolate is really good, and the best thing I can compare it to is chocolate from the UK. Like, English chocolate. Like, it has that, like, density, richness mm, to it. Sarah's putting James down. I'm going to clean up toys and then um, maybe empty the dishwasher. Have a glass of red still. Really good day, productive day, kind of, you know, we love going into downtown Chicago, so that was nice. Great running into our friend Katie from high school, great watching Bucket List, great just having a lot of good, just good time with our son James. And it's going to be really special when we have another baby here with us, all together. Eve was super sweet with James today, it's just, it's a good Saturday, a really good Saturday. That, my friends, newlyweds, oldlyweds, it's called teamwork. Cleaned up, Sarah put James down, and now when she comes out of there, hopefully we'll be able to just relax on a Saturday night. After literally an hour and a half of talking about camera gear and what we might do next for the Brookhart Project in our life, here is Henry David Thoreau saying, the question is not what you look at but what you see funny considering we're talking about camera gear and our vlog and pictures and our documenting our life every day um, but our Saturday wonderful wonderful Saturday is coming to an end it really was such a good day today we've just been like up chatting and just talking like it was just something I mean the nicer weather just us getting out and about and in our city like feels ourself. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>